This is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this uh, video, we will crochet the crossed stitch placemat. And uh, the name comes from the crochet stitch that I'm using here. It is uh, crossed half double crochet stitch. And it is easy to do. It's very enjoyable to work. And uh, it uh, looks great uh, giving some texture to the placemat. And my placemat measures, it's almost 15 inches long and about 12 inches wide. I've made two colors here, so it's great to combine two contrast colors. Let's see about the yarn next. I'm using Lion Brand 24-7 cotton yarn. My main color is uh, green and it's called bay leaf. Uh, one ball has um, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 186 yards, 170 meters. And uh, the weight category is medium, four. And one ball is enough. And my contrast color is this uh, off white. This one is called a crew. So we're making a few rows with that and crochet hook is size 4 so this is my beautiful new crochet hook from Pearls Crochet it's uh, from the candy shop collection and it's really pretty and um, very comfortable to work with so definitely recommend and so this nice grape color is size four millimeters and let's get started and we start with the main color and make a slip knot and now chain 37 and make your chains quite loose so that the edge of placemat won't be too tight. And now we can start our crossed half double crochet stitch. And it is made of uh, two half double crochets together. And to start, we're going to make the first one in third and fourth chain from the hook. A yarn over. And first insert your hook in the third chain from the hook and pull up a loop. Now yarn over, insert hook in the next chain and pull up a loop. And now we have five loops on hook and pull through all of them. And the next one we always uh, make the first leg of the next stitch in the same stitch where the last one was and then the second leg in the next stitch. So yarn over, first insert hook in that chain where you did the last one, pull up loop, yarn over and then insert hook in the next stitch, pull up loop, next chain, pull up loop and pull Again through five loops on hook. Yarn over. Again first insert hook in that chain where you did the last stitch. Yarn over and then go in the next chain. Pull up loop. Pull through five loops. And so it repeats and over chain 
just uh, important to pay attention not to when you start the new stitch not to insert hook in the next chain or stitch but in that last one first and then in the next And now do this uh, all the way to the end of chain and we'll finish the row together. And I have my last chain here and we're going to make our last crossed half double crochet stitch. First inserting hook in that previous chain and then in that last chain. And when you count, you have now 34 of these crossed stitches. And to finish the round, we're going to make half double crochet in that last chain. And now I'm going to cut off my main color. And we're going to make the first stripe with the contrast color. Also, uh, fasten off this one first. And make a slip knot with your second color. Now, turn your first row to start. On the other side from here and how I do this is take your hook out of the slip knot insert it through that first stitch here then insert it through your slip knot on the back here and pull it from back to front and chain two so this is our beginning half double crochet on each row and now we start our cross stitches yarn over as before insert hook first through that same first stitch and pull up loop yarn over and then insert hook through the next stitch pull up loop pull through five loops Now it continues the same way. Yarn over, we always insert hook first in that same stitch where the last one was made. Pull up loop, yarn over, and then insert hook in the next stitch. Pull up loop, pull through five loops. And continue this all the way to the end. And to make the last stitch same way. And now uh, the second leg, um, I'm going to insert my hook under that chain. So in this space. And pull up loop here and finish the stitch and now also make the half double crochet in that same space and again I'm going to cut off my yarn make the next stripe with the main color Pass enough to make a slip knot with that and joining yarn same way take it take the hook out turn your work to start third row from here then insert your hook 
through that first stitch here and pull slip knot from back to front through now chain two for the first half double crochet and start the cross stitches first leg going in that same first stitch second leg going in the next stitch And let's finish this row together making my last cross stitch insert for the second leg search through that space here under that beginning two chains and also make your last half double crochet in that same space and when you count, you still have 34 cross stitches. Every once in a while, I'd like to count them to make sure I haven't missed any stitches. And again, cutting off my main color here, fasten off and make second stripe with contrast color turn your work to start new row here insert hook through first stitch pull slip knot through two chains and start stitches Ending the row with the last cross stitch, same way. And half double crochet. Again, cutting off yarn. Fasten off. Now make another row with your main color and then third stripe with your contrast color. And after three stripes of the contrast color, we're going to continue with main color. Joining yarn the same way. And now make as many rows as you'd like with the main color. Uh, and then uh, to end, we're going to make again these three stripes with contrast colors. So there's going to be six rows of uh, this on the other side of the placemat. I'm going to go and uh, make 24 rows now with my main color before the stripes. And I finished uh, 24 rows with the main color and with uh, including these beginning uh, stripe rows, it's now 
total of 30 rows and now let's make uh, another six rows so next one is going to be with a contrast color and then the main color again contrast main contrast and uh, finish the last row with main color and then we can uh, make the edge I finished all my rows and I also weaved in all the ends and now we can uh, continue and do the two rounds of edge and without cutting off yarn after the last row we continue from right here just turn your work sideways and the first round is single crochet stitches all around i will show you the uh, how i place them start with one chain and make the first single crochet inserting hook right here behind that last half double crochet you did when finishing the last row next single crochet will go in this next space on the next row it's also next to the half double crochet next uh, single crochet will go in here in this space and now I'm going to insert my hook here in the side of this uh, half double crochet next uh, stitch will go in the, here next one in here and again next one insert your hook here in uh, next to the half double crochet and again one here here and here and continue to the next corner and now i'm here and my second corner so this is the beginning row this is the half double crochet the first row ended with i'm going to insert a hook kind of like through this stitch you can also insert a hook just through the space but that leaves a hole uh, inserting hook through the stitch i'll make i will make three single crochets here for the corner and now make insert hook in each foundation chain loop and make a single crochet here and in this next corner this is my last foundation loop chain i like to do it this way make two single crochets in that last loop the next stitch needs to go in that in the side of this beginning half double crochet inserting hook in the stitch and make two single crochets here that will make a nice corner here and then continue single crochet stitches in same spaces same amount as you did on the other uh, long side And now I'm at this corner. This is the beginning of my last row. Those two chains as beginning half double crochet in this space. We'll make three single crochets. And now just single crochet in each stitch here on that last row and we'll finish the last corner together and 
back to the beginning so this is where i started the first single crochet i'm going to make insert hook in this last stitch make two single crochets here and now just slip stitch in that beginning one and from here we can start the last round it is easy just slip stitch in each single crochet around and make sure these slip stitches are quite loose not tight so that the edge will remain nice especially uh, in these corners uh, because we are making only one slip stitch in each single crochet stitch and I finished my slip stitches all around this is the first one I'm going to slip stitch in it to finish and cut off so this last round of slip stitches creates this really nice finished look for the placemat and here is my finished placemat I hope you have fun making your own and uh, find the written pattern uh, on my blog and link is in video description box thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting